Hey everybody, Joe here from Different Fins. Welcome to my very first episode. This uh, hopefully is a great outing. I'm on a stock brook trout lake in northwestern Ontario. Uh, the limit's five fish, but I only plan on keeping a few. Uh, I like to keep them between 14 and 16 inches, let the smaller ones go. Some people will be mad at me. Um, they like to keep the small ones, they, they taste great. But I'm um, out here mostly for fun, not just for food. I'd also like to say that uh, Different Fins is going to be a channel uh, based on variety. I'm not a single species guy. I like to go for a lot of different kinds of fish. Um, hopefully in the next year you'll see quite a few different species. Um, I'll try to get as many videos out as possible. It's hard. I work a full-time job and uh, especially in the wintertime the weather is not always uh, cooperating. But uh, I'll plan to get out when I can. Any day off that's nice and I'm free, guess what I'll be doing? I'll be fishing, so here we go. Oh, I might have a fish right now. <laughs> Come on, I'm filming an intro here. Don't be that quick. I missed it, but uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some today. Oh, there's my first hit, first miss. <laughs> Another hit and miss. Checking my phone. <sighs> Go figure. I just missed another fish over on my set line. I just needed to hit my little jig here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Right size bait for the fish. Come on, girls. Ah. It's like a bar of soap. Come on. Take it easy, take it easy. Okay. There's our first fish. A little too small to keep, so uh let them go, let them grow. Perfect. Let's look for another one. Made a mess of my hole. I like a clean hole. I like to see what's going on down there. Another benefit of the uh, pop-up shelter. <clears throat> Nothing better than sight fishing. Nothing at all. Just to give you a look at my point of view. That right there is the jig fly. And you can see the rocks and I'm only in about four and a half, five feet of water, which is just perfect for these brook trout. And that's what I was looking at all day. So I'm just giving you a little taste. Once I do get a GoPro and more cameras, you'll see a lot more of what I'm seeing. And Hopefully the videos will be more enjoyable, more entertaining. So, there is a fish down there, I know, because it just stole my minnow. Let's see if he's uh, still around, I'll get him on the jig. Here we go. Come on, baby. Hopefully you're still hungry. Woo! <laughs> that was cool. I love sight fishing. Yes. <laughs> and this guy, stop, stop, stop. 
Stop, stop, stop. These brook trout are crazy. This guy just spit out one of the minnows that was on my set line. So, I know he's been playing with me. Okay. Oops. Another beautiful little brook trout. Still, again, too small to eat. So, back in the hole you go. Let him go, let him grow. Oh, I love that. The hole was big enough, the fish actually jumped. It was like catching a bass in the summer. That was awesome. Woo! So this being my first video, obviously I'm uh, limited on camera selection. Eventually I'll get more cameras. The views will get better. I'll have one set on the set line over here. So right now I can see it, you can't. If I catch any fish on it, I'll show you, but as I get more equipment, it'll get better. I promise. Oh! Woo! <laughs> that was cool. Calm down, baby. Calm down. I don't want to get hooked either. Woo! Fight's over! Quit! <laughs> okay. Oh, the treble. On the uh, hyperglide, I'll show you a picture later so you get a better uh, view of the details. Uh, pretty little fish. Huh? But my third small one, too small to eat, so back you go. That was cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! <laughs> That's an exercise one. Came out of nowhere, bam, hit it. I'm fishing in about five feet of water so I can see everything the rocks, and I knew there was no fish down there, and then boom! There he was. This one's a little more my eating size, so I'm actually going to dispatch this fish quickly and ethically and take it home for a little something to eat, but beautiful colors on this fish. I'll show you in a second. Oh, look at that. Just a pretty fish. I don't know if you can see that. I just, I just love pretty fish. I love ugly fish. I love all fish. That's why it's different fins. All right, so I'm gonna kill him. So, see you in a second. First one for the hyperglide. And I believe it was just sitting still. I was distracted and felt the tug and that's all she wrote. So. It's about 10 to 11. I guess uh, 10 to 11 is prime time. I didn't get any hits from sunrise till about 9.30 and the action's been good lately. I'm actually going to switch it up. I've got a few on the hyperglide so far, but now I think it's time for a change. Put that away.
I haven't caught any on this yet. Check that out. Woo! I apologize for my low grade camera, I know. I just started making these videos on a whim, so the GoPro will come. I'll get better quality footage. But for now, this is all I got, so. This is a beautiful jig fly made by my buddy uh, Joe Kostecki and his uh, son Mitch out of Terrace Bay. Mighty Mitch and Jungle Joe's jig flies. I've caught brook trout on them before. They're almost too nice to put in the water. They're just so beautiful, but they sure do look good in the water as well. Looks just like a dace or something. A wounded dace. Oh, there we go. Wow. Another nice one. About the same size as the other keeper, maybe a little bigger. Come on. Yes, I am going to keep this one as well. There it is. Woo. On uh, Mighty Mitch and Jungle Joe Jigfly. I can't get over how pretty these fish are. Look at that. Another one for the frying pan. So again, dispatch it quickly, ethically, cutscene. I had a game plan today. I had three types of lures I wanted to try. I caught fish on every single one. I had the one 16th ounce jig with a one inch smelt gulp minnow. Uh, number two was the Glow Perch Acme Hyperglide. I don't know what size, this size. I'll show pictures later. And number three, Mighty Mitch and Jungle Joe's Jig Fly. I'll keep fishing. I got a limit now. Catch and release. Let them go, let them grow. They're still biting, so I gotta get my lure back in there. I'm a happy camper. Last time I came to this lake, it was actually disappointing. I got skunked. First time ever on this lake. Um, I'm fishing in four and a half feet of water. It's a spring-fed brook trout lake. Usually the water is crystal clear like it is today. And I had 20 inches of visibility. I dropped my lure 20 inches down, halfway to the bottom. I'm only fishing four and a half, five feet of water. And the lure would disappear. I don't know how any fish would see it. I don't know what cause is. You know, turbidity in the water this time of year, you think it would all settle out. But, you know, it's a learning game. You never stop learning. A couple weeks later, I come back, the water's crystal clear, and the fish are biting. So, you know, can't complain about that. First fish on the set line. <laughs> Ooh. This one's got the best colors yet. Oh yeah. Ah. You can't hold on to these guys. They're not quitters like walleye. <laughs> they do not stop. But yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Ooh. 
there look at the red belly on that thing just beautiful just beautiful okay I think I might keep this one actually so here we go they sure do come out of nowhere these fish they're just coasting the shoreline you're just getting one every 20 minutes or so as they pass through it's not like fishing for crappie or walleye where you're searching you know you're running and gunning you find the school you sit on the school pop a bunch it's just not like that it's just patience and you know sit and wait for them to come to you the sun is definitely out it's been a fairly cloudy morning most of the morning my favorite brook trout conditions Wow, <laughs> it's almost time to go home anyway. It's the 21st of December. I'm traveling to go visit my parents and my family tomorrow for the Christmas holidays. So, I could just about wrap this up. Maybe one more fish. There we go. Calm down, calm down. Sorry, little buddy. Is this the guy that was giving me all that grief? Back in the video. Awesome. Second one on the set line. So all in all, I had a pretty good day today. Uh, I got seven brook trout. It's uh, better than I did last time. Uh, I'm glad I got some good footage. Well, hopefully got some good footage. And next time I'm fishing, I might be lake trout, cisco, smelt, crappie, who knows. But uh, stay tuned and uh, catch some more footage. Cheers.